And hello everyone! Due to, I don't know, getting about three views on the last one of these, went and bought an entire another box. Yeah, I've been planning on trying to expand my collection. What do I use to cut it open? Let's go ahead and use an arrow. This is Ravnica. Claimed on. Uh, that's not very good. Claimed that it was used, but it's still sealed. I dropped the price by, you know, a reasonable amount so I could buy an entire brick. I kind of ain't really that big into Magic the Gathering. I just honestly thought some of these miniatures were. You know, worth buying after I actually started looking them in. They're not valued that highly, but I don't know. I think they're usable. Well, let's hope at least. And just filled a niche that I didn't see my collection having. I just as normally I don't want much NPC characters. I prefer getting some monsters. The premium dragon is pretty nice and is not going up in price. Well, okay. Things spilled out. Oh, and first of all, that is something I wanted. That right there is a phoenix. All translucent. That is nice. That is one some sort of ghastly looking spirit thing maybe this was bad I'm down a mini there should have been another mini involved that was only That was only three. Maybe it fell out onto the floor somewhere in the workshop. There might be. Nope. That's not a good sign. Got the Phoenix though. Hope that there it's not going to be the case for every single one. And just a particular miniature is going to be removed from each set. That would be disheartening. I mean, I've had not just a little small one laying around. Maybe it's one of the invisible characters. Woo. That has all of them. This is a giant of some sort. Looks like more NPC fodder. It's supposed to be a druid. I would object to that. That is not a druid by far. Don't want to know where my missing mini is. This is one that I wanted from the collection. A blood drinker vampire. If I wanted to throw a female vampire into Curse of Strahd or something. Then we got... A dryad of some sort. More tree people. I like the tree people for some reason. It'd be nice to get a large version of, you know, a trench or an int or whatever.
I already got a hold of two things that I wanted. That's another one. I'm going to get this guy. I mean, I know it is mainly some sort of like basculus lizard, but with the croaking, it could stand for like a very large slod of some sort. And if I get too many, I can always try to paint them up. This is some sort of fungal tree creature. That's interesting. We got some sort of chaotic tribal centaur dude. I, yet again, I, I'm not that big into uh, Magic the Gathering to really question all this. We got a generic looking mage. Might fit the campaign going up. Again, at least each thing I've opened, I said, hey, I like that guy. Like, I liked something involved with the set. Only one person seems to be missing something, which is a little discouraging, but we'll find out. Or NPC fodder for me, or player characters. That's a little imp demon thing, which could be usable. I like the small stuff. I like the small minis put on the map and make people confused. We also have a quote mind drinking uh, vampire, other than uh, the blood drinking ones and the. And this is supposed to be a guild master of some sort for Ravnica, but that is... I don't know. That right there could be pretty creepy. Probably hearing my kids screaming in the background. That's always fun. That was probably the weakest of the sets opened so far. But luckily we're halfway through. open this one next. It's taking me forever. Doesn't this look a little tampered with, but uh, I'll take it. Again, the large miniatures seem to be the most disappointing of this opening. Some sort of strange looking ogre. I was thinking about getting one of these things. Just because of how strange it happens to look like. And this is some sort of wither. I like the see-through units. Pretty nice. Oh, this is an interesting mage looking person. Yeah, again, I guess that's the whole point of it being Magic the Gathering is if they're weird looking mages. See how much of this I end up having to speed through. I'm trying to go by weight. Because if it's heavier, it should be more interesting by then, shouldn't it? And we get our first duplicate. That's a little odd. We got more of these 
wolf guards. Death Pack Angel or something like that. That's interesting. Ooh. I wanted one or two of these. Anytime you get some lizard people, it is like a part of D&D in which I do not have much of. That's supposed to be a guild master, but that is the telltale I want to be a rogue. Rogue. That's nice. When it's something that fits into... I guess not a wizard. I guess that could be a paladin. Which one's more heavier? You almost got everything that's on the sides of these. I'm missing about two. I guess if it's Dungeons and Dragons, we have to have one of these at some point. Judgment Sphinx? I don't have any sphinxes, so I don't like how robotic it happens to look, but I'll, I'll take it. This is something else that I wanted and didn't think about picking up. This Wind Drake. It's pretty good because I have the normal D&D uh, Rise of Tiamat Drake that totally just looks like a baby... Thunder Dragon. They're, they're blue dragons. What are these? Goblin Bob Moss. Boss, not Moss. Yeah. We'll see if that actually fits the scale with the rest of the stuff that I got for Gobbos. Got a little bugged winged warrior thing. Ah, we'll freak people out. Hit to the end. Hopefully I can find where that guy left. No, we haven't. See, I bought this and it claimed to be used. It's not exactly the miniature I wanted, but I'll take it. I was afraid that it may have been scalped, but only having one missing. We got ourselves a sky... Jick Rock having a big bird. That's pretty nice. Now why does it have to have a lizard tail for a bird? I won't know. I mainly bought this to try to get some variety in the miniatures I happen to have. Fire Fist. Another duplicate, but it's okay. Mind Drinker Zombie, a oh, zombie, uh, vampire who is bent up, unfortunately, and another Gobbo boss, Goblin boss, huh? Nice to have multiple goblins, but, yep, and that, it happens to be my miniature collection right now. Missing one, though. can't tell if it's, it's there. Oh, well, I guess that's good for how much of a price cut that I got for them. I can definitely put something interesting in the next campaign through that. So this is... And hello, everyone. This is Relic Jones making a quick video over. This particular miniature, it's not much of a miniature, it's pretty, pretty large. This is Pathfinder, it's probably, honestly, the first time of me buying their miniatures. But, uh, I was looking into getting some larger minis minis uh, miniatures for campaign stuff coming up lately. And I was seeing how they've been doing these premium ones that are the only way to get the bigger scale. And Pathfinder did this water elemental and an earth elemental 
that are significantly, well, not significantly, it's like 30 bucks compared to 40 or more, because it normally goes up in price. And I saw this water elemental, I was like, dang, that's pretty cool. And you probably can't see, but I wish it was a little bit more clear, less paint, but there is literally like a little army trapped within the waves which is nice. I wanted to do a short quick video talking about these. Maybe you can pick some up. Here is a comparison to the clever paper, paper scale. And let's also get... That's a Hero Escape mini, but it's from the D&D campaign stuff. To scale. You can go attack the water mill. But yeah, that's a nice scale. See the people on the inside trapped. 